two very fast, small German performance cars, Audi RS3, BMW M2. Matt, which one do you think is faster? Uh, yeah. Hmm. From a standing start, mate, I think probably the one with four-wheel drive. We suspect this will be quicker away from the line, so we're also going to give them a rolling race and see if the M2 can claim back some pride. Yeah, I fancy my chances a bit in a rolling start. Okay, well, let's find out. So what's the fastest sub £50,000 performance car? I reckon this Audi RS3 is in with a good shout. It's got just under 400 horsepower from that lovely warbling five-cylinder turbo motor. That's a load of power in quite a small car. Daniele has an advantage because he's got four-wheel drive. I only have rear-wheel drive and the display on the dashboard says that it is two and a half degrees outside. It's properly cold out there today. That means we're not going to be recording quick times today, so we're not going to bother with the timing gear. Tires are not getting warm. The track is stone cold. That puts the initial start in his favour, as does the fact that he has a bit more poke, I think. But you know, he's got that whole thing with the transverse engine at the front, predominantly front wheel drive, sending power to the back when it needs it. Whereas this has got the classically beautiful straight six driving through DCT transmission here to the rear wheels only. This is that's ultimate driving machine. Launch control in gearbox in sport, traction control in sport mode as well, left foot on the brake, floor the throttle with your right foot and then step off the brake and the thing just pings off the line. Launch control, I've got to be in DSC off drive or DSC sport drive, I've got it off, it's just off, but then pull back on the lever to put me in that, foot on the brake hard, everything's got to be up to temperature and launch control is active so that's fine. Here we go then, let's find out which of these two cars is quicker. So it holds 3,500 RPM, and away you go. And not even a hint of wheel spin. That thing gets away rather quickly. And it's just completely one-sided, isn't it? Still getting away rather quickly. Inevitably, the RS3 got away from the line quicker, just put all its power down beautifully. Still, it's not getting away anymore. And there we are, half mile. Now, it was inevitable, wasn't it, that the RS3 would launch away from the line quicker than the rear wheel drive M2. It should be faster, it's four wheel drive, it's got more power, it's got a great engine, that car, to be fair. But, what I noticed in my rear view mirror was that the M2 was a spec, but you know what, it wasn't getting smaller which makes me wonder, if we're to do this race again, but from a rolling start rather than a standing start, what will the outcome be? Okay, so after that disadvantage of the launch launch, we're gonna do a rolling start in second gear, try and ease it up so that when we hit the line, then we'll be flat. And the Audi, it's still got it, hasn't it? It's still just about got an edge, but you know what? It's a lot, lot closer. Quite a lot of it. It's just down to the fact that the Audi is really fast. That Audi is really fast. That BMW, it's not as tiny as it was when we did the proper launch. So there we go. This was a tiny bit closer. Not close enough. The fact is the RS3 is just faster. There is more to life though. There's more to life than drag racing, isn't there? Well, nobody's surprised, are they, that the RS3 won the drag race? No, I was a bit surprised about how far you got away. Uh, particularly A, the first sort of tenth of a second, and then B, as you got further down, you, you did keep, keep pulling and keep pulling, which surprised me a bit how far down the road it was. The launch control system on this car is very impressive. It's yeah. effortless. It just pings the car off the line every time. Yeah. Yeah, it's monstrously quick. Yeah, I mean, I suspect when a corner arrives, I might be having more fun, but there's no denying that that is, you know, that is quick. And that was a little bit closer in the rolling race? A little bit, but even as it went on, it's still just, it's still slightly frustrating as you watch it. You just, you, you're still eking out gap and gap and gap, and you think, you know, this, the, this is the purest sports car. How, how is it possible? So you tell yourself, look, it doesn't really matter ultimately, does it? But then, it, it does. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. So, small German, under 50,000 pound performance cars, the RS3 is the quickest one.